Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, yet they will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. On this beautiful morning, we are gathered together with hearts of one accord as we praise God. And we thank God for the life of Jerry Smith Letson. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, yet shall they live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I died and behold, I am alive forevermore. And I hold the keys of hell and death. Because I live, you shall live also. We have gathered here to praise God and to witness to our faith as we celebrate Jerry's life. We come together in grief, acknowledging our human loss. May God grant us grace that in pain we may find comfort, in sorrow hope, and in death resurrection. Let us pray. O oh, holy God, you know our hearts and you know our words before we are able to put them together before you. We pray that you will bless us to be present in this time, to comfort us with your holy presence, and may all that we say and do give glory to you as we remember and give thanks for Jerry. In the name of Christ, amen. And now you were going to read various scripture readings, and I would invite Kim and Corey and Rusty to read those now. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. Seek first his kingdom 
and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. I'm reading from John 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And, I, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me so that you also may be where I am. You know the way this place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let's say a prayer. Father, we come to you in prayer to cry for those of us who are left behind, for the ones with hidden hearts pray, Father, that if you comfort us, give us peace, and restore our faith. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. From the beginning, as I have listened to you and to new friends, share with me about Jerry. It has been over and over emphasized that he was a man of commitment, that he was a man who, once he made up his mind, once he gave his heart, once he gave his word, that was it. He was committed to whatever course he had chosen. And this morning I remember, therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices and my body also dwells secure. You, Lord, show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasures forevermore. From Psalm 16, Jerry derived joy throughout his life. And in his life it was commitment. First, he had commitment to his friends, and there's no particular order, but I'm going somewhere with this. His commitment to his friends, to the Central Park boys, to those with whom he played billiards. He didn't miss. He was there as long as he possibly could be. He was committed to his country. He served faithfully and well from in World War II and in various branches of the military. He served this country in the civic arena as well. He served his country as a good citizen who took care of his neighbors, who loved his neighbors, as Jesus said do. He was committed to his family, to all of you, to showing you and teaching you, to being with you. And I truly enjoyed reading what you had posted about horses and life together. He was committed to his wives, to his children and grandchildren. And though I did not know him, the pictures that I've seen show a man of great joy who enjoyed being with you and loved you. Jerry was a man committed to God. He loved God's world, and I rejoice to hear the stories of how he took care of animals, horses and bunnies and turtles, and how he loved his dogs, Thor, and then Miss Daisy. And today, as I'm standing here, there's been a butterfly dancing right over there, a yellow butterfly. And I think about Thor, but I also think about that this butterfly is a symbol of new life. 
and as Jerry committed his life to God, there is new life today for him and has been since he passed on. For Jerry is no longer bound by the things of this world. He can run and not be weary. He can leap. He can dance before the Lord. And all these things are God's good gifts to a good and faithful servant who for 94 years was committed to all the best that God has to offer in this world and today rejoices before the Father in heaven. We give thanks. Let us pray. Almighty God, you are with us this day, and you know the state of our hearts. We pray giving thanks to you for Jerry, for what he has meant to each one here today, for the lessons that he has taught, for the joy, for the memories. We praise you, God, for that part of him that will always define who we are. We praise you for the times whenever we will say things and hear Jerry's words and way of speaking. We praise you for when we will do things and see what he showed us, even into the simple things. We praise you, God, for the path he has put before us that leads to you. And we praise you that you are here with us. Today we pray that you receive him, that his spirit is with you. And in this trust, we commit him to the ground here knowing that he is a baptized member of your own flock, a lamb of your choosing, that before he was known to us, he is yours. And we thank you for the time we've had with him. Comfort your people, oh my God, comfort your people, and give us peace. Amen. Amen. My friends, into the hands of God we commend Jerry Bledson in the sure and certain hope of resurrection to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The body we commit to the ground, earth to earth and ashes to ashes and dust to dust. But the spirit the Spirit is with God. Thanks be to God. Now the one who is able to keep you from falling and make you stand without blemish in the presence of God's glory with rejoicing. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, authority before all time, now and forever. Amen. Amen. May God hold you close and may you hold each other close. Amen. That will conclude our services here at the Buford National Cemetery. We'd like to thank each of you for coming out and showing your love and support for this family on today. We now ask everyone to please return to your calls.